Hi, welcome to St. Martha Parish and Schools Children's Liturgy of the Word for Sunday, February 21st. We're entering into our first Sunday of Lent. And let's just praise God and, and, um, and know that he's there with us as we travel through. Our first reading is a reading from the book of Genesis. God told Noah and his sons, I am going to make a solemn promise to you and to all who will live after you. This includes the birds and animals that came out of the boat. I promise every living creature on earth that the earth and those living on it will never again be destroyed by a flood. The rainbow that I have put in the sky will be my sign to you and to every living creature on earth. It will tell you that I will keep this solemn promise forever. When I send clouds to cover the earth and the rainbow appears in the sky, I will remember my promise to you and to all other living creatures. Never again will I let floodwaters destroy all life. The word of the Lord. And together, thanks be to God. You know, draw a rainbow this week and set it up somewhere just to remember that God's with us and he's He's not going to fail us. He's not going to leave us. Um, he's always there with us. Love that. Love that reading. Your ways, O Lord, are love and truth to those who keep your covenant together. Your ways, O Lord, are love and truth to those who keep your covenant Show me your paths and teach me to follow. Guide me by your truth and instruct me. You keep me safe together. Your ways, O Lord, are love and truth to those who keep your covenant. Please, Lord, remember you have always been patient and kind. 
Show how truly kind you are and remember me. Together, your ways, O Lord, are love and truth to those who keep your covenant. Now, because it's Lent, we're going to go straight to the gospel. During Lent, we do not sing or say the Alleluia. We, um, it's a time of sadness. It's a time of penance. It's a sign, time of just calmer prayers. So we don't sing the Alleluia until we get to um, Holy Week. All right. So we're going to skip by that and go to our gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Right away, God's Spirit made Jesus go into the desert. He stayed there for 40 days while Satan tested him. Jesus was with the wild animals, but angels took care of him. After John was arrested, Jesus went to Galilee and told the good news that comes from God. He said, The time has come. God's kingdom will soon be here. Turn back to God and believe the good news. The Gospel of the Lord and together praise to you Lord Jesus Christ what's the good news it's Jesus isn't it hi how are you doing today it is our first week of Lent and as we enter into Lent let's remember what Lent is about Lent is about preparing our hearts for Jesus to die on the cross for our sins and to raise again in in glory um, so that we all get to go to heaven with him um, in the end, okay? And that's really important. But the first part is, is part of what we should do. You know, we can't always have the fun in the games. We sometimes have to sacrifice. We have to give up a little bit, have a little discipline. It's good for us. It's not bad. It's not to torture us. It's not to, um, you know, give us a really sad time or anything. It's just as a reminder that, you know, we don't always have to put our needs first. Sometimes we give up what we want so we can put others first. And that's what, a, when we when we give up something for Lent, that's what that's about. We give up something in order to replace it with something better, okay? So maybe we give up video games and um, for Lent. And that time that we give up the video games, what do we fill that time with? We don't fill it with cartoons, you know, or... Or, or things like that, we fill it with something more meaningful, something that brings us closer to God or something that helps someone else. So maybe during that time, instead we read a Bible story or we spend um, some time talking to God, praying a little bit. Maybe as a family, we take the time that we have now from giving things up and we do a service project together as a family. Um, there's all kinds of things that you can do, but remember, it's you're taking that 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 new time you've created and you're using it for something a little bit more meaningful than playing video games same as if we give something up let's say i give up going to big b and getting my good yummy yummy mocha mocha yummy fattening coffee <laughs> that i love so much okay and i give that up well that cost me you know three four bucks every time i have it what do i do with then the money that i'm saving from not buying those coffees that money then goes to a good charity, right? It goes to help someone else in need. Um, maybe provide food for someone who doesn't have food because I'm not wasting it on something frivolous like a cup of coffee, right? So we do that. So Lent is a time that we give something up in order to do something better with those resources that we are using, the time or the money or our, um, that we're spending, okay? Now let's look at our Gospels quickly because um, I love the story of Noah in the rainbow. Don't you all? Uh, that rainbow is a promise to us, a promise. God said, you know, that he will never destroy the world um, with a flood. But it's more than that. It's a promise that he's there. He has our back. He will take care of us. He's not forgetting us. He didn't abandon us. He will never abandon us. And he's there for us, even if it's a really horrible time. A really bad time in our in, and we're just having an awful time God is there taking care and watching over us um, an example I'm gonna give you at 1 30 this morning early early our carbon monoxide detectors went off and my husband and I called the fire department and we had to go outside and it was minus like nine below zero and it was freezing cold and um, we got in the car and heated ourselves up, wait for the fire department, and then we had to go spend the night at the neighbor's because we couldn't go back in. You know, that's, that's a horrible thing. 
But you know what the blessing is? The blessing is, is that a month ago we didn't know carbon monoxide detectors. Somehow God protected us before we even knew we needed protecting. Um, you know, um, and that's that's an awesome thought because, you know, it was a you know, I, I'm, it was a weird thing that we bought them. It was like, you know, it's been on my mind. I think we really need to buy these because our other one is really old and, and I don't think it's working anymore and we really need to get these. And my husband and I were both feeling that way. So here we are alive today because of it. So, you know, God is there. He's after, He's taking care of us. And then in our gospel, who does he send to take care of his son, Jesus? He sends his angels to minister to him. You know that we each have an angel. We have we have a guardian angel that's watching out for each of us. We have Saint Michael the Archangel who who we pray defend us in battle. You know, he's fighting off the evil around us all the time. God isn't leaving us alone on this earth. God is here to take care of us and to protect us and he sends his army of angels to help us. And we can just be thankful for that. So as we go through Lent and we struggle with those things that we're giving up and we struggle with fasting on Ash Wednesday and Good Friday and we struggle with not eating meat on Friday, just remember God's here with us. His angels are here with us. Ask him for help. Ask him to help get us through this. All right. And on the other end, what do we get? We get the beautiful resurrection of Jesus and we get beautiful Easter and we get spring. You know, it all comes together in the most beautiful way. So I hope you have a good first week of Lent and God bless you all. And I will see you in a week. Bye. Now it's time to say a prayer for someone in need. So close your eyes real tight and think who needs your prayers today and just send some love up to God for them, please. And together, Lord, hear our prayer. And remember, we can trust in God, so let's enjoy this song. You're watching Life Tree Kids.
God bless you all and have a great week.